What should I do if my brakes go out? Dr. Van Tassel, what should we do? Well, there are several things to do. First of all, every driver should know whether you have anti-lock brakes or regular brakes. Yeah, right. I mean, how many people really know? We sent another camera crew out with that question. Yeah, I have anti-lock brakes. I think, wait, anti-lock brakes? No, I don't know. I don't know. What kind of brakes? You got me. Just regular brakes, I guess. I don't know. I didn't know there were different kinds. I'll tell you a secret. It's not really a secret. If your car has anti-lock brakes, it will have a logo that lights up on the dash that says ABS every time you start your car. If you don't know what kind of brakes you have, look for that logo when you go back out to your car and crank it up next time. If the logo appears, you've got ABS, anti-lock brakes. If not, you have regular brakes. With that said, if your brakes suddenly go out, you have a very serious situation. You want to do three things. First thing is downshift to a lower gear. Second, if you have regular brakes, pump the brake pedal fast and hard to build up the brake fluid pressure. If the brakes haven't started working within three or four pumps, then go on to step three. That is, use the parking brake. You need to slow the car down safely, but not abruptly. You want to try and gradually apply the parking brake. I might add, if you apply your parking brakes, be ready for the car to skid because the rear end of the car could become light. Drivers should find a safe place and practice stopping with the emergency brake so that you'll be comfortable doing this if you ever have to. What if none of my brakes work? Now, if none of the brakes work, then put the car into a low gear and steer in a safe direction until the car completely rolls to a stop. Keep in mind that you can still steer towards bushes or something soft to avoid hitting a person or something hard if your brakes go out. But be careful not to turn the steering wheel too much, just steer enough to avoid obstacles. If you're at highway speeds, it may be advisable to scrape your car against a guardrail or divider, using the friction to slow the car down. If you do this, come into the guardrail or divider at a shallow angle and gently rub the car against it. Okay, so then what should you do to warn other drivers that your brakes are out? Well, you can honk your horn, you can flash your lights. That's actually good practice in many emergencies. I think I have analog brakes, but I'm not sure I know the right way to use them. I don't think this driver should feel alone. Isn't that pretty common? It is. Not many drivers know how to use anti-lock brakes properly. Any driver who has anti-lock brakes really needs to read the owner's manual to learn more about the proper use of anti-lock brakes. Read the owner's manual? <laughs> yeah, right, you say. I know, I know. It doesn't sound like the most exciting thing to do, but honest to goodness, it would only take a few minutes, and believe me, it's worth the time. If you are driving with anti-lock brakes and don't know how to use them, then you really need to set aside a little time to do this for your sake and for others who might be riding with you. Then practice. Actually practice sudden stops. In a safe off-street situation, of course, and practice on both dry and wet pavement. Then when you have to use the brakes, you'll be that much more confident. Dr. Van Tessel, what should you expect when you practice with the ABS system? Does it feel the same as regular brakes? Well, first, the rule of thumb when using anti-lock brakes is when you need brakes, mash the pedal to the floor. In terms of what you might feel, well, most systems will give a lot of feedback in the pedal, some strong vibration. Now, it may feel a little strange, but that's just a sign that the ABS system is working properly. So if your brakes go out and you have anti-lock brakes, what steps should you take? Well, again, this would be a very serious situation. You would need to apply firm, steady pressure to the brake pedal. And that's different from the pumping that you would do with regular brakes. And just like with regular brakes, you'd want to slow the car down safely but not abruptly. And then go through the same steps we just talked about with regular brakes. Try to gradually apply the parking brake. If none of the brakes work, then put your car into a lower gear and steer in a safe direction until the car comes to a complete stop. 